This is Martin Sherrington and this video is going to cover the Google Hangouts Showcase app. So the first thing to know is that this is very important if you're looking at running Hangouts and you want people to take action from watching the Hangout, so during the live event and also potentially afterwards. So to give you some examples, you might like people to click one of the links that will appear and you'll see this soon in the demo and just visit your website. Or you might like them to go to a page and sign up for a newsletter. Or you may point them in the direction of a landing page which is set up for them to purchase a product. Or you might include a Google Plus page and there has there's a follow button. Um, which you can just hover over and follow straight from the Showcase app appearance. They don't even have to click through, so you can do that as well. So all of this is to be explored, really, um, by yourself and in relation to your business. But Now, jumping to the Plus Your Business page, the first thing is we're going to run through now how you set this up. Now, you come to the sidebar, and if you go to Hangouts, I'll give you a very quick overview of how to set up a Hangout on Air and you click in Hangouts on Air and from that point you click Start a Hangout, you're going to give it a name, you tell people what it's about and you decide if you want to start it now or later and then you're going to decide who the audience is and hopefully you know how to set up a Hangout on Air already but that's the basis there. OK, so I set it up for a test and I click share and I've just invited it to a private audience, which would just be myself. Now you could invite it to a circle of people. Of course, you could go public as well. Once that appears, you'll see here that there's a little yellow icon and this turns the showcase app on or off. Now, if you turn it on and then click play because we haven't gone live, we haven't started the Hangout itself. You know, we've got the option still, though, as the person who's presenting, the person who's going to be running the Hangout, to drop in a URL into that particular section. So if, for instance, and drop in that URL, the content will appear. And from that point, I will be able to then see what image appears and I can also decide whether to show the item and that will show it to the audience. And because there's multiple images on this one, I can then click in and I can edit quite a few things. I can edit the titles and I can decide if I want to show more images or not. I can add in a summary and if I wanted to, I could delete there if I don't want it. Um, but when we're ready, I just click on done. Then just got to decide if you're going to show the audience or not the item. I clicked on yes, and then I'm going to jump across and show you what it looks like. So I click into here, and if I click on play, it will bring it up. And this is now viewing it from the perspective of the audience, as I've just invited myself. And you can see I don't have the options to edit, but I do see prior to the event that this content is available. And if I want to see more, I would just click through and that would take me through to the website. Jumping back now to the host, which is the Plus Your Business page, a few things to add in. If you click here, it will allow for the window to open, which is actually separate, which would mean that you can just move that around and you can then, for instance, have a look at the comments threads there. The other thing is that if you use a URL shortener, you can drop that in and that will give you the ability to track the number of people who have clicked from that particular link. Now, you can use a Google one if you search for Google URL shortener. You won't be able to track the number of clicks currently unless you do that. OK, let me now show you what it's like when you're running the Hangout itself. So you click, you start the Hangout, and the first thing you decide is who you want to invite into that particular Hangout. And you invite people here, or um, you can just skip that as I'm going to, and it will take me directly in. Now, if the sidebar is shown, um, we're going to just move that one out and instead put the showcase hangout there, or the app rather, um, and have that one. And the first thing you're going to see is the existing link. So we've got that, 
and I can choose whether to show it or not to the audience. So if I want to remove uh, from people's views, for instance, I could show different links before we start uh, from the ones that will show when we're actually getting going. So I've got flexibility in the app itself. And if I wanted to, I could, for instance, just remove the, the image, or I could then decide to, to delete the item, or I don't need to delete it. I can just, for instance, save it, unshow it, but have it ready for later, which could be very handy. Then, when you get started, this is the, the main thing I just wanted to show you, is when you drop in a link, and for instance here, I've just dropped in the quick start to sign up when and you just scroll up and you'll see it there when I'm ready oh I can see it there when I'm ready I can then decide to show that item that appears to the people that are watching either before the show or during the show or then they'll stay after the show as you'll see um, and it will drop in so you could say hey why don't you click on more and you'll be able to sign up for free to the quick starter guide so you can use this as a, as a way of, of calling people to action on your content, which I think is great. Next, and jump into after, for instance, a show. I want to show you how it looks then, just so you see that all of this ties together. So I click, and because the showcase app is still enabled, then we have the items that will appear there, and you see which ones are showing or not. So this really is a way of generating engagement from your Hangouts. Now, there's a few other things that I want to show you. And the first one is that you can share the link with people, and even if they don't have a Google Plus account, and as long as the event is public, then they'll be able to see it and engage on it in certain ways. So I'm just dropping this one in, and you'll see how it appears. And in a very similar way to somebody that was logged into Google Plus, you can just click, and that will play. And it will bring up also the showcase links. And I'll just pause that. First thing is that you person can click and that will go through to a website or a landing page. This is great if you want to share the link with people who aren't on Google Plus already. You can share it on your other social networks and people can still click and it will get them to where you want them to be. So you can be calling it out during the show and directing people. Now, if you share a page, for instance, got the Google Plus page here, and they are not logged in, then they won't be able to follow. Whereas if they are, they can hover over and follow directly from the link that you've got within the Showcase app. And that can be a great way for people to get more followers from their page. A couple of last things. The first one is that if you want to turn it off, then you click on it and it will turn off. So that's the first thing, and you can do that before or after the event. Next thing is how this would be watched on YouTube. And using this as an example, so we have the Hangout there, and we have the uh, the, the Plus Your Business crew chatting, and there is a link that can be clicked, an annotation that will bring them to the place where they can then interact. And it happens that I'm logged in, so I'm seeing that version of it. So just so you know um, that the video is able to be included as part of this as well on YouTube, but people will need to click in order to get there. And one final thing. The links that you can put in include affiliate links. So if you are running a Hangout on Air and you're an affiliate of a particular business, then you are going to be able to have that tracked if people click and then, for instance, purchase a product, which we think is a wonderful way of utilizing Hangouts on Air and is certainly going to increase um, the potential for people doing business on Google+. Plus and it's incredibly exciting for Plus Your Business. So, many thanks for your time. I hope that was a useful tour, and uh, explore and see how you get on with a new feature. All the best.